All right, guys. This is a pond update, I guess you would call it. I'm sitting on my porch. And what I did is I have water lotus seeds. And as you can see, let me get this one out. This one's still trying to get going. It might not make it. It looks like it's rotting. But that's kind of what they look like. They're little round black seeds. And what you do is you um, sandpaper, I used a Dremel, and you open up one end so water can get in them, and then they sprout. And as you can see, I got little lilies coming on, little lotus leaves. So what I have to do is, my container is no longer tall enough, but these are now long enough that I'm going to transfer them into sand, and I have a gravel up in that container right there. I have gravel, so I'm going to put some gravel on top. And I'm going to plant these and actually put them in the pond today. So I'm going to wet this sand so it's nice and wet so I'm not shocking them by putting them into a container that is bone dry. I'm going to wet the sand. I'm going to put the gravel on. Then I'm just going to shove them down in, make sure they're secure. Then with the wet sand, this should have enough weight to get them into the pond. My pickerel is still blooming. There's Cody, of course, in the film. But um, I still got lots of flowers. If, if anything, I have more than the last time I did a film. I have not fed the fish yet. So what I'm going to do is get these potted up, get them in the pond, and then I'll bring you that update and show you another fish feeding. It's one of my favorite parts of the day. Every morning I come out and I make sure I check on them and I feed them. And if it's not too hot, I'll even try and sit outside. It's already past 80 degrees and it's not even 10 o'clock in the morning yet. So it's going to be a hot one today. No rain for over a week now. We really, really could use some rain because you're going to see the water level of the pools dropping. But I'm not too concerned about that. And the reason being is we're not running a pump. If we were running a pump, we'd have to be adding water and adding water and adding water. That's not something I'm willing to do because it costs money unless I use my rain catch. And my rain catch is really for watering um, my gardens. So if we hit a drought, that rain catch could be my lifesaver for keeping my crops growing. So I'm going to get these done, get them in, because I have a load of mulch due here, hopefully any minute. I'm waiting. They're supposed to be working in the area, but I have, don't hear any chainsaws. I don't hear any mulching trucks, so I don't know what's going on. But I'll bring you along for this ride, and you'll see these guys when I get them done. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, guys, I'm back. And what I did is I mixed my sand with water. I got some water out of the pond, so it's full of fertilization, if you will. <laughs> Thank you, fish. And um, I had some, is this just like a fancy little rock that I had. I tried a bonsai. Total failure. I'm going to retry one one day. But in the meantime, what I did was after the the soil, the sandy soil was wet, I topped it off with the gravel. And I did this before I planted. And I did it for a reason. Because once these tender shoots are in there, I can't put the gravel around them, kind of damaging the shoots. And the purpose of the gravel is to keep the sand and any compost that's in with the sand from coming out and floating. This method worked perfect for my water chestnuts. The only difference is my water chestnuts is in a dish that water can flow through the sides. This is just a little dish pan. It could even be a cat litter box. I don't know. It was laying around. I've been using it for years to set my potted seedlings in for watering so the water doesn't run all over the porch. But um, I'm going to, basically, I'm so right-handed it's not even funny, but I'm going to take these out carefully. I'm going to lay them down. Okay. Try to... They're all tangled, which is not going to be fun. So I got to separate them, or try to, with one hand. There we go. There's one. Okay, now this one, I'm just going to take over here, put my finger in a hole, make a hole, and put this in. And I'm going to close the hole around it. Now when I go to put this in the pool, it'll float. I'm going to do the rest of these, and I'll bring that back to you when it's all done. Hey guys, I wanted to show you this. 
Look at the little roots on this. This is very ready to be potted up. And yes, look, my hands. Haha. <laughs> but yeah, look at those beautiful little roots. And you see, I've got three stems on this one. So this is really a nice one. I just wanted to show you this one. I got most of them already potted up. It's hard to see. But I'm spacing them out. I put this first set in way too close. But I'm going to leave them there and see how they do. And then I'm spacing the other half out a lot further. I'm hoping these uh, get really big pads on them. Right now they got small pads. But I'm hoping once they're in an established environment, those pads will get bigger and bigger. And that um, I'll have some beautiful flowers. I don't know how soon that'll be. Whenever it happens, it happens. And I'm hoping my fish don't eat these. So we'll see. I'm going to finish potting these up. i got about three or four more to go, and then I'll be done. Okay, guys, let's see if we can get a picture of this. What I did is I pushed the water lettuce out of the way, and what's left of the water hyacinths, the fish are definitely eating them. I got baby minnows swimming around right here, but right here is that pan I just worked on. The baby minnows are already in there checking it out. Now that is pretty cool. Hi, Hawk. Hawks are calling. See those little round leaves? Those are the water lotus. So it's just a matter of time before the rest of these guys' leaves open up. And to be honest, it could have been in deeper water. But I think I'm going to work with this right here for now. And then at some point I might drop this down. There's one more, I believe there's one more little step just below this. I haven't been in it in a while, so I don't remember. <laughs> But if I can, I will move it out into the deeper areas a little bit more and see how that goes. But this is definitely something we'll be following. This is the water lotus. So for today, this is the pond update. As you can see, we got some beautiful things going on. Lots of flowers. I even got a purple one down at the other end now. My granddaughter has started swimming in this pool. Not swimming, she was more like playing. She was on her floaty seat that you used to see floating in here. I require that it's taken out every day now. And um, she floated in here. The big guy, Cody over there, he was swimming in here with her. And it was fine. Neither one of them had an odor when they came out. Nobody smelt like fish or fish poop or nothing nasty. It all worked out exactly the way they promoted it on the different pond conversions that I've seen and the nice thing is these fish are just fine they're not scared as you can see they're right here in front of me right now they're saying where's our dinner <laughs> I haven't fed them yet today so we're getting ready to do a fish feeding alright don't know if you guys are interested in seeing me feed the fish all the time let me know if you are and we'll bring you them as much as I do pond updates but everybody's doing fantastic. The uh, tilapia are definitely growing. The koi are growing. Everything in this pond is doing spectacular. The bullfrog did move out. He is in the back here somewhere because I hear him and he's at a distance now instead of right here in my backyard. So that's all good news. And right now everything's going great. So that's the pond update. Y'all have a blessed day and... Like and share, and if you uh, are enjoying the video, subscribe, please, please, please subscribe so I know how many people are following. That always encourages me to do more videos. And um, this is just part of a permaculture design to be more self-sustaining. So y'all have a great day. God bless.